American actor James LaRue Avery was born on November 27, 1945, in Suffolk, Virginia. He would be raised solely by his mother in Atlantic City, New Jersey. James' major passion growing up was sports, and he had planned on attending college on a football scholarship. Unfortunately, he would flunk out and lose everything after choosing to focus more on the ladies instead of his studies. After returning home and not knowing what else to do, James joined the U.S. Navy. He also participated in the Vietnam War from 1968 to 1969. After leaving the military, James would decide to stay in San Diego, California, where his ship had been stationed. He landed a job writing poetry as well as TV scripts for PBS. His talent was apparent and it eventually won him an Emmy for production with the television program distributor. Then he received a scholarship to the University of California at San Diego, where he earned himself a Bachelor of Arts degree in drama and literature. James' acting career ramped up in the 80s with appearances in dozens of television series such as Hill Street Blues, The Jeffersons, Amen, and L.A. Law. He also did a fair amount of voiceover work, including a seven-year run as the voice of supervillain Shredder in the animated television series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Also around this time, James would marry his wife, Barbara, who was the Dean of Students at Occidental College in Los Angeles. They wouldn't have any children together, but James did fill the role of stepfather to Barbara's son. James did well in the 80s, but the decade to follow would give him the role he would become best known for, and one of America's all-time favorite TV dads. In 1990, James began the role of Philip Banks on the hit NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He played the part for the entire six-year run of the show. After Fresh Prince ended, James went on to play a variety of roles in many other television shows, including the lead role of Alonzo Sparks in the UPN comedy series Sparks that lasted for two seasons, as well as in The House, Dharma and Greg, Soul Food, That 70s Show, my Wife and Kids, and The Closer. He also became the primary host of the popular PBS travel and adventure series, Going Places. In November 2013, James' health would take a serious turn, and he would undergo open-heart surgery. Sadly, his recovery wouldn't be successful. The following month, on December 31st, 2013, James passed away in Glendale, California. He was 68 years old. His publicist told the Associated Press that he died following complications from the November operation. His mother reported that his wife was constantly by his side at the hospital prior to his death, and that James also suffered from diabetes. Alfonso Ribeiro, who played James's son Carlton on Fresh Prince, posted on his Facebook page, The world has lost a truly special man. I am very saddened to say that James Avery has passed. Even though he played my father on TV, he was a wonderful father figure to me in life. He will be deeply missed. The Fresh Prince himself, Will Smith, also commented on James' death, saying, Some of my greatest lessons in acting, living, and being a respectable human being came through James Avery. Every young man needs an Uncle Phil. Rest in peace. James' remains were cremated and scattered near the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans off of Los Angeles and Atlantic City, respectively. In April 2020, Will featured a virtual reunion with his Fresh Prince castmates on his Will From Home Snapchat series. They honored their friend James by watching a highlight reel of his best moments on the show. The timing was perfect since it also happened to be the 30th anniversary of the hit series. Seven months later, HBO Max aired the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion. This time, the entire cast including original Aunt Viv, Janet Hubert, finally came face to face with one another in the special that featured them chatting on a rebuilt Fresh Prince set, as well as individual interviews and behind the scenes footage. Once again, as the cast looked on in tears, a touching tribute was made to the missing piece of the puzzle, the late great James Avery. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.